guys how y'all doing today first thing we're going to do we're going to place our 10 inch cast iron skillet on the center rack and heat our oven to 425 degrees now we're going to saute two-thirds cup of chorizo until crisp smells so good guys we're just going to spoon that because we're going to add this in aside. later now in a small saucepan we're going to bring one half cup of water to boil on high and we're going to add that boiling water we're going to, to add one half bowl. cup of cornmeal to the boiling water we're going to mix that very well we're going to stir to blend and the mixture should become like thick mush oh my god cooking you is so it? much fun in another medium bowl i'm going to mix one half cup of all-purpose flour about one and a half cups of cornmeal. Here I have baking Some of y'all gonna salt hate me, but I didn't put soda. no sugar. If you want sugar in yours, you can add about two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay, to our mush that we made earlier, we're gonna add one cup of buttermilk. Buttermilk brings a tang to any recipe, and it's a southern girl's delight. For added moisture, we're gonna add one fourth cup of sour cream. Hey, honey, what about those eggs? We have two Okay, large what's my eggs, favorite word? Pizza? Mix very well. Somebody had left me in the comments saying that I say mix well too much. <laughs> okay, guys, let's quit playing. Let's get this party started and mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. And <laughs> mix well. Yes, we're going to mix well. Make sure you scrape the sides of the bowls, guys. Hey guys, remember in the beginning when we put our cast iron in the oven was pretty Okay, now we're going to add about three to four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're just going to melt that and let it swirl around because our pan is very, very hot. And I must say, I love butter, guys. I'm the type of person I melt butter and add it on my microwave popcorn. Oh, God, forgive me. We're just going to swirl that around and we're going to add in our chorizo. We're going to mix that very well. There's that word again. With the butter, you want to mix that well. <laughs> For a little bit of added spice or zippity doo -dah, you want to add about one or two tablespoons. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now we're going to add the chorizo, the jalapeno, and the butter mixture to the cornbread. And we're going to what? Mix well. <laughs> Now it's time to pour the cornbread mixture into our 10 inch hot butter coated cast iron And here iron is skillet. our baby. I cooked it for about 18 minutes at 425 and oh my God, the smell is amazing. Tell me, can you guys smell it? Can you, can you, huh? <laughs> oh, I did let it cool off for about five or ten minutes and now I'm just going to go ahead and slice and I dice usually cut it up. my cornbread in triangles but I was just so much in a hurry to take a bite I wasn't even thinking I just cut these big old squares <laughs> but it's still going to taste I the did same right add some melted butter and just pour that on top just a little bit guys Okay, you guys know I'm greedy, right? Yeah. And you guys know I love food. I just had to do a taste test. And let me tell you, it was so mm, mm, good. This cornbread is so moist and delicious, guys. It is so good. And that sour cream just makes it so, so moist. And I am prejudiced. I have to have a crusty crust. Now, you guys know cornbread goes with absolutely everything. I serve that with some roast beef broccoli and that chorizo chor chorizo in that cornbread oh my god it's like pow pow i had so much fun making this video if you guys enjoyed it as much as i did please comment like and subscribe